Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to yet another video in this Flutter series. And in this video, we are going to explore text fields in Flutter. So we have already talked a lot about different widgets which made our app from a static simple looking app to a stateful application where we were changing our content dynamically. But still, we are not able to get some input or, from, or some data from the user. And a very basic step to do so will be to understand a text input. Hence, in this video, let's explore what text inputs are. Already, I have some code, which is something that we have already talked about. Like we have a main function which calls an app, which will be an stateless visit, which will return a material app, which will call a home page, which will be its home. And this is a stateful visit because we are going to change the state. We are going to retrieve some data that will be input by the user. And here we return a scaffold where the body is a column that's a list of widgets and here the children is again a list of widget. So we can keep as many widgets as we want right here but right now I'll be talking about one widget and we call it as a text field because this is this gives us a text field where we can accept some data. Now if I save this you will see that we get this simple underline and here I can just tap and input some data. So this is a simple text field, but obviously that's not that it's not that much that we just wanted to talk. There is a lot more that I want to explore in this video along with you about text fields. Now talking about the properties, there are many properties like the autocorrect property which set to false will not give us auto suggestions, but if set to true will give us auto suggestions. Autofocus if set to true will just take this text input as a focus as soon as we launch the app or as soon as we move to this screen while as if set to null or if set to false will not take the will not take the value so on we have controller that controls what to do if some text is changed cursor color radius with that deal with how the cursor should be when it comes to the text input and there is a lot more that we can just you can just think about it like we have this keyboard appearance, we have this keyboard type which says if the keyboard should be a number or not. Like if I just click on keyboard type and I say input keyboard input, I think it accepts input keyboard only. Yeah, it accepts a text input type dot number with options. If I save this and now when I click on this, you see that I get these options, although it should be something else. But let me just click on number and now if I click here you will see that I get only okay I should be getting only numbers and okay so I'm not getting numbers as of now I don't know why this is not working but okay if I say phone maybe now I should get only numbers okay it's not working even as of now sometimes it just fails on emulator and I can't do anything about that Okay, let me see if email address is working or not and okay even this is not working i mean if email address works then you will see an add rate right here if the number works you will see only the number keyword but this sometimes just fails on the emulator anyway moving forward we have talked understood auto correct and we didn't understand autofocus uh, what we have to do right here is to first understand this obsecure text obsecure text is used if we want to make sure that whatever we enter is not shown to anyone if i save this and now if i enter some data it will just look at these stars so in simple words i can say that if you want to accept some password we can you can set the obsecure text to true rest everything contains in the decoration and the decoration is going to be a input decoration and this contain this takes a lot of parameter which are actually helpful the first one will be this hint text which you can directly put it as a string. You don't need to provide a text visit, which will wrap some string. You can directly provide the string. If I'm saying something like username, if I save it, so you can see that now it gives me this username, which is a hint text. If I enter any data, this username will just disappear. And if you want to style this hint text, then we have this property that is hint style, which will accept a text style and will style the hint. In the same way, we have a label text, not style, label text, which is persistent. Like if we enter some data, it just flows up. But the rest of the time, it will stay here. If we 
if we could had if we had any way using which i could just show you that i am not focusing on the text field as of now in the same way we have this helper text which just which is a small text or you can say that this looks like a some disabled flat button text it keeps in the bottom and uh, it is it looks very small and it acts like a helper text like it says that what we have to enter here and so on well some interesting things that we have as of here is that we can get rid of this underline that we have provided and for that we have to just say that this is a collapsed and here the hint text which is shown is empty now we have this input field but the underline is gone in the same way we can have borders too and for that i have to just say input decoration and the border will be an outline input border if i save this now you see that we have this outline border four sides you may not uh, you can just i think that you guys can see this simple lining that we have you should be able to see that come on okay why can't i just explore it no english us is fine anyway i think you can see this lining it is an outline border that provides uh, that wraps what text we are going to input and so on in the same way i did show you how you can get rid of this underline text that was shown to us out of the text field we have again many properties focus keyboard appearance keyboard types things that i want to talk are now max length and max lines obviously i think i don't need to explain much max length says that was the maximum length of data that should be entered it is an integer so now you see we have 0 to 20 if i keep entering and as soon as i reach 20 i cannot move further in the same way i have max lines that says how many lines of text i can enter if i click on save max lines and here it says like 20 lines i should just say only two lines and now i can enter only two lines that's pretty much it so that's how it works now we are just left with one single topic which is actually very necessary and that is how we can retrieve some data from the text field and to do that i want to tell you a few things like what we are going to do is that i'm going to have a button so you can enter some data on this text field click on the button and the data will be shown here in a text visit so for that i need a text visit and the text visit will again show some text which is going to be a variable let's say i'm going, calling this as my okay i will call this as text to display which obviously we don't have as of now so i just have to copy this and i need this as a string so i'll say a string text to display and now that error is gone the next thing that we need after this text field is a button i will just say a raised button will do the job which will call a which will have an on press property obviously that will call some function and i'm saying that function has change text and obviously we have talked already a lot about how this work so i won't waste any much time talking about them but here i have text which will be a text uh, visit and it just says press fine i think that's enough now i need this change text so i'm saying copy and here i have a void change text come on i have copied so why am i typing it fine now save this everything looks cool click on this and we have this which says null because no value is set to that and here i have my simple text input field i know the ui doesn't look great but that's okay let's just focus on the coding part now in the text field we have this property which says on changed what you have to do with data is changed so here we say two things the first one is that when the value is changed on on when you know when something is entered or cleared from the text field keep that value in this particular variable okay let's say i'm calling this as text now this variable is not accessible not accessible outside this a on changed so we create another variable let's say string uh, text inputted and this text inputted is something that i'm going to set its value equal to this particular text so i'm saying text inputted is equal to text now what it means is that 
when somebody clicks this button okay uh, on no okay actually it has nothing to do with the button as soon as you enter some text or you edit like you edit even a single character then whatever is available in the text area is copied to this intermediate variable text and then this intermediate variable text is copied to this string text inputted which is our variable which we can access and now what I'm saying is that this text inputted is the variable that contains the data which is in the text field. So I have to just use this set state and in my set state I'm saying that this variable text to display it's something that is displayed and I want to set its value to text inputted that's it we are good to go now if I'm saying something like this e programmer I hope my spelling is correct I click on press and you pee our text widget you know gets that value which is in this text field as of now say so this e programmer is good oh, I think I am good like I think we are good and yep so we are able to you know get that text from our text field so whatever you enter here we can get that and I can even make this obsecure like it's just cool I am saying okay not in my raised button I have to just go to my text field and I'm saying obsecure not on submitted obsecure text true and I'll save this and now when I press this you see this is the value that we have and I'm saying come on cut it so here if I say something like uh, this is my password we don't see the text that's inputted right here but if I press on this we get that string from our text field as a normal string so that's pretty much it in this video we have explored text field all the basic styling all the basic properties and obviously there a few properties that are left like you know very less properties and you will use them only when you are doing something good like things like focus node and all which explaining them right now will not make much sense because you guys will just get confused so that's okay we'll move forward and we will meet in another video where we will be coding a simple ui in flutter that will be a simple login ui so I'll catch you up soon. Till then, keep coding, keep loving, keep sharing and peace.